Hey guys, welcome back. It's Taylor and this is Managing Diabetes Together. In today's video, we're going to be making spaghetti squash meatball casserole. So let's get right to it. This recipe makes six servings. For this recipe, we are going to need one medium spaghetti squash, one half a teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of fennel seed, one fourth teaspoon of ground coriander, one fourth teaspoon of dried basil, one fourth teaspoon of dried oregano, one pound of lean ground beef, two teaspoons of olive oil, one medium onion, one garlic clove, two cups of chopped collard greens, one cup chopped fresh spinach, one cup reduced fat ricotta cheese, two plum potatoes, one cup of pasta sauce, and one cup shredded part skim mozzarella cheese. First, we are chopping up our onion. You want to get very fine pieces of the onion. Next, we are also chopping up our tomato into a chunk size pieces. Next, we are cutting our spaghetti, spaghetti squash. You want to chop off the first end part of it, and then we are chopping it lengthwise down the middle in half. Now, scrape out the middle with a fork to get all the seeds out, and place the halves on a microwave-safe plate. Now, we are microwaving it for 20 minutes. Next, we want to preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, we are adding our meat into a bowl. You're adding a fourth a teaspoon of salt into the bowl, along with a, f a half a teaspoon of fennel seed, a fourth a teaspoon of ground coriander, a fourth a teaspoon of dried basil, a fourth a teaspoon of dried oregano, Now we are just mixing the meat around, making sure to get everything evenly coated with the seasonings. Now we are making one inch meatballs and putting them into a pan to brown. We are going to flip them once they are brown on one side. You can set the stove top on medium heat for this. When the meatballs are done, we are placing them into a metal bowl. Now we are adding oil and our onions to the pan where the meatballs were, and we are sauteing the onions for about three to four minutes. Now we are adding one clove of minced garlic to the pan and mixing for about one minute. Now we are adding two cups of chopped collard greens, one cup of chopped fresh spinach, one cup of reduced fat ricotta cheese or cottage cheese, and a little bit of salt to the pan. Make sure to mix that mixture up and then place into a separate bowl. Once the spaghetti squash is done in the microwave, you're gonna take it out and use two forks to scrape it into strands. Once those strands are created, we are adding them to the bowl with the mixture removed from the pan and mixing it up together. Now we are placing the mixture into an oven safe dish. Now we are adding our chopped tomatoes from earlier on top of our mixture. Now we are adding the meatballs all over the dish spread evenly. Now pour one cup of pasta sauce all over the dish. Now add about one cup of your favorite mozzarella cheese. You can add more or less depending on your liking. Now we are putting the dish into the oven to bake for about 30 to 35 minutes or until the meatballs are cooked all the th way through. Enjoy! Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video very beneficial and helpful for diabetes friendly recipes. Please fill out the survey in the link in my bio and I hope that you have a really good rest of your day.